doesn't matter what department you're in, it's all so exciting. Um, what is your favourite song or dance that you have performed? Hmm, this is a hard one. My favourite dance I've performed? Well, I think if it's not including professional jobs, it's when I was at college. So I went to a dance school that's one of the best dance schools in England and they do full out routines. And we did a routine which was a carnival routine and we got to perform it in front of thousands of people at this dance exhibition. So I think it would have to be dancing with my school. Um, if not, if I had to choose a professional job, it's Tarzan because I love anything full out. I love lyrical, don't get me wrong, but I love being full out. I always get told to calm down a little bit. But it's never, never too much. You can always be more than less. And then if they need to bring you back, let them bring you back. But if you're giving more, they'll love that. So yes, it's either my dance school carnival piece or it's Tarzan. I've got two, I can't choose one. Um, what are auditions like? Auditions are hard, but you just need to go with the right mentality and know that you, whatever you do is your best. As long as you do your best, it doesn't matter what happens. And that's the same with job interviews, I think, actually. It applies to everything in life. Um, so with auditions, you need to make sure that you're prepared, you've got the correct song to sing for that type of show. So say if I was going to Hairspray, I wouldn't sing an old school song. I'd have to sing more of a modern song. Um, so you need to make sure you've got the right song. You need to make sure you learn the script. And sometimes they'll send you the script the day before and they'll go, learn these lines for tomorrow. And you need to learn these lines off by heart and go in the next day and just know your lines and not look at the piece of paper. So I might have to be working that evening, but I've got to go home after work and I've got to learn those lines to be in the room at nine o'clock in the morning. And then also, there's an always, so when I auditioned for Wicked, there was a thousand people auditioning for one job. So, you can't, you just need to go in there and think about yourself. Don't think about anyone else in the room. As long as you do your best, that's what that matters. Because at the end of the day, it might be between me and another girl, but she might get the job because they've already got a costume in her size. And it's gonna cost them less if they have to give her the costume rather than making me a brand new one. So it might not even be down to your talent at the end of the day. Um, so yeah, as long as you try your best, that's all, that, that's all you can do. So. Um, what is the rehearsal process like? Okay, rehearsals are very hard. Again, everything's hard, but it's all fun. So rehearsals are hard because you'll go in and it's the first day, you get to learn all these new people's names and you get to read through the script and everyone's excited. Um, but then you start learning the songs, you start learning the harmonies, you start learning the routines and they teach it very quickly because there's only a small amount of time you have to learn this show because then you have to do a tech run which is where they light the stage and you know where you're running on from and where you're running off to and then you also have to do a dress run where you get to run the show in your costume but you normally, normally only get to do one of those so you need to know it by the dress run but during rehearsals it's you go in you your mind is boggled because you're getting told what harmony line you're on where to stand what to sing how to look what to wear so there's always so much going on but that's when you really need to work hard because once you've got through the rehearsals, it's in your body and you know the show. So once the show starts, you can just enjoy it for the rest of the year. But in rehearsals is when you wanna get everything in your brain. So you don't have to worry about it when you do the first show in front of an audience because it's quite nerve wracking. So if you know exactly what you're doing, then you'll be fine for the show and you'll enjoy it for the rest of the year. So rehearsals are long days, sweaty days, tiring days but very very fun and why should people watch theatre people should watch theatre because it's a place to escape you can go there for three hours two hours however long the show might be and you can just get lost in this magical world in front of you and i always think you can see those performers how much they love it and you can see that they're enjoying it that you enjoy watching it and at the same time, musicals are all fun, but also there's an element of learning history, depending on what musical you're watching. Not all of them are real, um, or based on true stories, should I say. But if you go and watch one based on a true story about history, that's an amazing way to learn as well. For, for example, Hamilton. Hamilton's about history. I never knew about this guy until I went and watched Hamilton. 
and I learned so much because I learn easier by watching things and especially watching it through singing or dancing, what I love. So for me to learn history that way was amazing. So I just think to go and learn something new or to go and get lost in a magical world and just leave all your troubles for the day and just enjoy what's going on in front of you, not looking at your phones and just getting lost within this magical world. So yes, I hope I've answered all your questions and if you have any more questions, then send them across and if you would want to do another interview or Q&A, you've got any questions you want to ask, feel free, I'm always here to help. I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope you enjoy your routine. Bye.